हेलो स्टूडेंट्स आई शशि भूषण तिवारी वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन दिस चैनल इन टूडेज वीडियो लेट अस हैव सम फन विथ प्रोबेबिलिटी इमेजिन दैट योर नोटबुक कंटेन्स हॉर्जोंटल लाइन्स विच आर एट सेपरेशन ऑफ टू सेंटीमीटर फ्रॉम वन अनदर फॉर द सेक ऑफ ईज वी विल रिप्रेजेंट दिस टू सेंटीमीटर लेंथ एज टू एल विच मीन्स एल इज वन सेंटीमीटर now you have a pin which is of 2 cm length and you just toss it up on the page of your notebook the pin lands on the notebook but it can fall in any orientation so we have to find what is the probability that this pin will intersect a line on the page of your notebook you can give it a try on your own before you look at the solution here i am proceeding with the solution this is your um, layout of your page on a notebook each line is at a separation of 2 cm right if a pin lands like this then we will say that it intersects a line if the pin falls in this position b then also it intersects a line but if the pin happens to fall in position c then it is not intersecting any line on the page so we have to find what is the probability that this particular pin will land while intersecting a line on the page right so how can we proceed this is how we should proceed this is the magnified view of uh, your notebook and these are horizontal lines and i have shown y axis as you can see it let us assume that your pin lands on this page somewhat in this position making an angle theta with one of the horizontal lines now let us figure out the projection of the half the length of the pin in the y direction this red broken line represents the projection of half the length of the pin in y direction right so what do you think this length could be i guess all of you know this it has to be l sin theta where l represents 1 cm that is half the length of the pin that means it is distance from the center of the pin to one of its edges right now this l sin theta is something very important for us and the next important quantity is distance of the center of the pin from the nearest line in this diagram this is the distance the dark black line this is the distance of the center of the pin from the nearest line let us represent this distance by small d so obviously the pin is going to intersect a line if this distance d happens to be less than l sin theta think about it for a moment and you will be able to understand this if d that is distance of the center of the pin from the nearest line happens to be less than l sin theta then the pin is going to intersect that particular line and this l sin theta is nothing but it is projection of half the length of the pin in y direction so now how can we get the probability required probability for that we need to plot a graph the diagram here shows plot of l sin theta what is l sin theta the projection of half the length of the pin in y direction the graph shows um, l sin theta projected against theta obviously the pin can land making some angle theta with a horizontal line and this angle practically can vary from 0 to 90 degree which i have written as pi by 2 now let us say that the pin falls on the page making an angle of say 30 degree with Uh, a horizontal line as shown in the diagram now for this position of the pin for this angular position of the pin the distance of its center from the nearest line could be zero also that means the center might lie on a horizontal line 
or the center of the pin might be a bit away from uh, the line. So you can see the white dots in the graph. These dots are uh, representing the distance of center of the pin from the nearest line. When the pin has fallen at an angular position of let us say 30 degree, these dots represent the various possible distances of the center of the pin from nearest line. The three dots that you see in the graph right now uh, tell you that the distance of the center of the pin is less than L sin theta. The L sin theta is represented by the curve in the graph and if the three dots that I have shown in the graph they happen to be less than L sin theta it simply means that D is less than L sin theta which means in these cases the pin is intersecting um, any one line uh, but the situation can be like this also okay in this case also the distance of the center is less than L sin theta and again the pin is intersecting look at the graph the dots white dots now look at the last white dot that I have drawn this dot happens to be outside the graph I mean it is above the curve representing L sin theta it simply means that distance of the center of the pin is more than L sin theta uh, from a from the nearest line which simply means that pin is not going to intersect uh, the nearest line. Similarly, if the pin falls like this, so that center is at a distance L, say 1 centimeter from the uh, line, then obviously it is not intersecting. So what does it mean actually? It simply means that uh, the graph, uh, the graph represents a rectangle as you can see, which is having an area of L into pi by 2 and inside that rectangle there is a curve. If the position of the center of the uh, pin lies within a distance less than L sin theta from the nearest line there is an intersection which means all the dots which fall below the curve shown in the graph uh, represent the position of the pin when it is intersecting the line. So in finite many such positions of the center of the pin is possible. In fact, uh, any dot that you draw inside this rectangle represents position of the center of the pin. And uh, the shaded area in the graph uh, represents all the positions of the center of the pin for which there is an intersection for different different angles, angular position of the uh, pin we can have uh, different different distances of the center of the pin from a line and if the distance d happens to be less than L psi theta which means in our graphical plot if the dot representing the position of the center of the pin falls below the curve then certainly there is an intersection. So what is the probability that there will be intersection? I guess many of you might have guessed by now. Uh, it is definitely the shaded area divided by the area of the entire rectangle that you see in the graph. So if uh, we just take the ratio of the shaded area divide and, and the uh, area of the rectangle shown in the graph, you will get the desired probability. So what is that probability? the area under the graph it is a usual sin theta curve value of l is 1 so it is just sin theta plotted versus theta so the area under the graph when theta changes from 0 to pi by 2 is 1 uh, you can work it out by doing a simple integration sin theta d theta integrated from 0 to pi by 2 so the shaded area is 1 uh, and the area of the rectangle uh, is definitely 1 into pi by 2. So the desired probability is 1 divided by pi by 2 which means 2 by pi. I hope uh, you have been able to understand what I uh, said. Thank you for watching this video. Do like the video and do, don't forget to subscribe. Goodbye.